guys. guys welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel today we have a new video for you today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the Zimbabwe versus Nigeria tag yeah for those of you who don't know I'm from Zimbabwe I'm from Nigeria so we're just gonna be answering a few questions and I've seen this tag a lot on YouTube but I haven't quite seen like a Zim and Nigeria. like couple kind of thing so yeah we're just gonna go straight in and ask the questions. So we've written them down on my phone, as you do. <laughs> as we always do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the first what's question. Your Niger what's your Zim name? Okay, my Zimbabwe name is Shamiso. So my Zimbabwe name will be Shamiso Chikwari. Okay. Yeah, my Nigerian name is Akim Olawale because Akim is like a Muslim name. Then Olawale is like your bad name. Okay. So, what's the next question? Next, the next question is, what's your favorite Nigerian zim slash food? Yeah, yes, favorite zim food. My favorite zim food. I don't really have a favorite Zim food, but I have a lot of favorite like Zim snacks. Like there's this thing called Madora, and it's basically like dried caterpillars. I know that sounds kind of nasty, but trust me, when you fry them, it's just I love that. I love that. What else do I like? I like things. We have these crystal things. I like those. And food wise, I like my Temba. My timbers like these little, they're kind of like anchovies, you know, little fish and you fry them with a bit of onions, you put in some chilli or whatever and you eat it with sadza. So those are my favourite Zim foods. Sadza at the end. Sadza. Sadza at the end, right? Sadza. What? Sadza. Whatever. Yeah, my Nigerian food is, I love jello fries, I love... That's so generic though, jollof rice of all yeah, things. Yeah, Nigeria. So yeah, you're not gonna pick Nigerian jollof rice. But jollof. No, just... It's not about Nigerian jollof rice. Ghanaian jollof rice is better no. anyway. No. But. Oh, <laughs> what do you mean? Jollof rice is better. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, it's better to compare it. No, I'm but. I'm not putting Ghana down, bitch. I'm just saying, I love it. But why can't you choose something that's. I don't know, that's. Different. Okay. I Jello love, fries is just like saying chips or something. Yeah, but I love my widow and Amala food as well. I love a lot of food, I love Nigerian food, I love Eba, they call it cassava, whatever, curry. So I love so many Nigerian food. I love probably jam. I love okay, but porridge. what's your favorite? Yeah, I don't have a favorite. That's why I listed all. Even me, I don't have favorite. But if I go to a Nigerian party, if they ask me what are you gonna eat, I would just say jello fries because. Okay. So the next question is: When was the last time you visited Nigeria slash Zimbabwe? Yeah, my last time I visited Nigeria. my one is really bad you guys and you know i haven't i was born in zimbabwe and i haven't been since so it's been like a good 20 you know something years 21 20 years because you are not just no i want to visit but it's just you know how life gets things in the way and but we're, we're gonna visit soon aren't we Gonna go. We're gonna go both to Zimbabwe and to Nigeria as well. So, so. yeah. So. Yeah. So you want to say something in your language, Yoruba and Shona. Okay. The best thing I can say is just hi. So how we say hi is you can say makadi or moroi or yeah. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna say the written in my language, Yoruba. I'm Yoruba. I'm... So that just, actually that means kind of like how are you more like hi how are you? Makadi means how are you and stuff. So yeah, that's what I can just teach you. Simple. Yeah, I'm just gonna say the greeting like if you want to greet somebody good morning, good afternoon, good evening, like stuff like that. Ekaro, ekaso, ekrole, stuff like that. So Okay. How's that? So the next question. What's the next question? Next question is, were you born in Nigeria, Zimbabwe? Well, I've already said I was born in Zimbabwe and I came to England when I was about like three or something. What state in Zim were you born? I was born in a town in Harare, so it's kind of like the capital city. Like not a town, yeah, like, you know, Harare is the capital city, like London. And then you have like Thamesmead, Plumsey. So I was born in one of those places in the capital city. I know what it's called, it's called DZ for my Zimbabwean people, but I don't really want to pronounce it because, yeah, I don't want to sound funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was born in Lagos, Lagos Island to be precise, and I was raised in Lagos, Lagos Island as well, so Island is fun for every Nigerian who knows Island, you know, you guys, you know. <laughs> it's all this party, 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 party clubbing. You, you guys, you know what I'm talking about. If it's not party, it's, uh... okay. So, the next question we have is: name one misconception about Zimbabwean or Nigerian people. I would say one misconception. I don't know if it's a misconception, but. I think for me anyway that I think is a misconception is that a lot of people tend to think that maybe like Zimbabwe is really like poor and stuff because of some of the stuff that they've seen on the TV and stuff and yeah it is we do have some parts that are like people are you know unfortunately poor like every part of the world but I know that Zimbabwe is really fun and it has a lot of good places a lot of nice places and there's a lot of you know people doing well young people doing well in Zimbabwe there's a lot of opportunities so I think that's a misconception a lot of opportunities yeah if you have money it's just it's the if same you have money. yeah that it's a misconception that people think that maybe everywhere in Zimbabwe is poor everyone in Zimbabwe is poor due to the whole stuff they see in the media but that's a misconception because you go there there's people living better lives than me and you so that's my thing yeah, yeah um misconception about that everyone I mean, does fraud 419ers about nigerians like in this country people think we nigerians we are rude we sound rude because I don't think I, I would take that as a misconception because it's just the way we speak. It's <laughs> just the way we speak. We might not want to sound rude to people, but the way we speak, like, I don't know, the way we, our English sound, the way we were taught to put our words together, like, it might sound rude, I might be like, oh, how you. It's not necessary. I I can tell you. Can you get me the spoon? Uh, no. Instead of me saying, can you get me the spoon? I can say, get me that spoon. And it's my son to the other person. Like, why are you telling me get me that spoon? Like, are you ordering me or are you giving me another? Like, you get like you, at workplace you are like, oh, um, what's your name? Like that. You be like, why are you asking me my name? Like. And to just be like, please, what's your name or something? Okay, like, calm down. You're taking it really to heart. Like, <laughs> I'm not taking it to heart, but people take the way we speak for like maybe we are rude. We yeah, are but rude. Uh, but if a lot of people are saying it, don't you think that maybe you do come across rude? So maybe just adjust a little bit. You understand? It's the way we were taught how yeah. to speak yeah, English. Yeah, but but English is just like. A borrowed language. Too. Okay, so but that's how I, okay, how okay. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not 
please. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying all that, but what you're taught sometimes is not always the right thing. You might be taught how to kill people. Do you understand? But it doesn't mean that you go outside and start killing people. So <laughs> because. From my experience when I came into this country. Next oh question. God, oh oh god. my god. <laughs> <laughs> you can not. Next question. Uh, Alright. What do you dislike about Nigerian Zimbabwean people? Slash Zimbabwean people. Mm. Um, you wanna go first? Yeah, good, good, good. I would say what well, I love my Zim people. I love them. I love to support them. I love everything about being Zim. But one thing I would say I dislike about us is that I don't know. There's this thing with Zimbabwean people, this thing of jealousy and envy and like bitching. I know everyone's gonna say that's black people or that's African people, but I feel like with Zimbabwean people it was really quite common. And it's it's more like Zimbabwe people don't support each other. You could do a business, you can open a corner shop there, you can do a hair business, whatever. Your own family or your own friends or you know people that you feel like are close to you, they'll be the same people to be like, mm, why is she opening that up? No one's gonna go to that place anyway. Oh, did you see her Instagram? She thinks she can do YouTube. Who's gonna watch their YouTube channel? Do you know what I mean? And it's just I don't like that thing about us. So that's what. I'm gonna say. Yeah, I think that was between black people anyway. To be Not honest. all the time because I see that Nigerian people, although there are some, I see that Nigerian people like support each other more. If a Nigerian person opens up a shop or opens up something, how many people go and buy the food? Or a clothing shop or whatever, do you know what I mean? But Zimbabwean people they'll never they, your uncle open a thing there, they'll go to Woolwich. They're selling the same thing. They'll go to Woolwich. <laughs> what if your whole price is different? Like, no, yeah, but it's about supporting. It's not all the time about price, price, price. People are ready to go and buy Kanye West Yeezys. Yeah, I'm not ready to spend. Oh, but you're. Re- but no, but you're. Re- no, but what I don't get is people are ready to buy Jordans. They're ready to buy Nike trainers for this and that and that. So you can't spend a little change on the person you know, your neighbor, your uncle, your whatever, but you're ready to buy Beyonce's latest this, go to Beyonce and Jay-Z on the run tour, 200 pounds, you're ready. You don't even know these people. Like, am I tripping or what? I don't know, but. Yeah, from my own experience, what I really don't like about Nigerian people is everywhere that I've walked, I don't know. I'm not trying to put our ladies, our women down like, our women seems to be kind of rude rude in everywhere they walk they feel on top of the wall no i'm joking let me let me put that i do like my nigerian people obviously i'm married to a nigerian man but i find that some not all of them nigerian women i don't know maybe i haven't come across all of them or the nice ones or i'm judging but for me sometimes they do come across really rude and really brunt like I don't know. Really aggressive, really like I don't know how to put it. The even me like several places I've worked. It's always an issue with a Nigerian women. Even to you that you are even a Nigerian, like they will come like I don't know. There's, there's this ego like they feel like I don't know. Like I don't know. It's just if. I don't know. That was one slight about Nigerian women in this country. I don't have anything against the men. I think women we always try to try our best to be polite and just go on our business. Okay. Next question is name your top three Nigerian slash Zimbabwean songs at the moment. Okay. At the moment. Well, I have a lot of favourites at the moment and um, some of you lot watching might not know Zim Music but I really, 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 really love Zim Music so much so all my Zim people out there, I got you. <laughs> Jaffraza. <laughs> Number one for even Jaffraza actually. Jaffraza is not the only artist we have so number one. My first song will be by 
by an artist called Takura and it's called My <laughs>
featuring Yemi Alade. Oh, 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 oh. Military subscribing liking watching whatever hating whatever just thank you everybody for all the support we love you guys and we'll see you in the next video Bye. Bye.